We're going to use this calculator to work out the mean and standard deviation of data presented in a grouped frequency table. Before we can enter our values into the calculator, we need to identify the midpoint of the class intervals. We'll call this x. To enter this information into the calculator, press menu and 6 to choose statistics mode. The table shows a single variable, which is time on YouTube per week. So press 1 to choose single variable. If there isn't a frequency column already, we need to add a frequency column. To do this, press Shift, Menu, Down, 3, and then 1 to turn on frequency. Now enter your midpoint and frequency data. 0.25 equals 0.75 equals 1.25 equals 1.75 equals 2.25 equals. Over to the next column. 5 equals 6 equals 8 equals 7 equals 4 equals. To get the list of summary statistics, press option 3. X bar is the mean. If you need to present the mean along with working out, we can find this information here too. So X bar equals sigma X, which is the sum of Fx over n, which can be found if you scroll down on the second screen. And this agrees with x bar on the summary data. Sigma x is standard deviation. To present this along with working out, we need the sum of the squares minus the square of the mean, all square rooted. We can find this information in the summary statistics. Sigma x squared is the sum of fx squared. And sigma x is the sum of fx. n is the number in the sample. We can get all of these values from the summary statistics and substitute them in the equation to get sigma x again you will find N on the second page. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.